Greetings, everyone. This is Rock and Roll Spot coming at you with the weekly comic book roundup. And we'll be finishing off this week and this month, to be perfectly honest, with this week's Avengers related titles. Starting off with Avengers number 30. Mm. Mm. So, where we left off, the Avengers were in Shi'ar space searching for the Star Brand. Um, and fighting off three of Galactus' heralds. As well as the Magister of the Shi'ar Empire, Gladiator. And had discovered who, the star, who had the star brand. A pregnant woman. And apparently this... Her, uh, who was in labor, and her labor pains were um, complicated by the star brand itself. So, we begin on Avengers Mountain with uh, Black Panther, Captain Marvel, and Captain America discussing what happened. Then flashback to where we left off. Um, Brood Thor per stops Gladiator from killing uh, a woman. Um, then Terax goes after the, goes after her, but. Uh, Captain Marvel stops him. Silver Surfer, however, upon realizing that, oh, the bear of the Star Brand is, is, is pregnant, like, okay, maybe destroying the bearer is not the right path. Terex doesn't, uh, doesn't want to change the plan. He wants to go with the current plan. So, the Avengers finally come back together, with the plan basically being Captain will deliver the baby while Black Widow, Blade, Captain Marvel, Ghost Rider, She-Hulk, and Brood Thor go after, or take on Gladiator, and Fire Lord, and Terax, and the Silver Surfer. Hulk ends up helping out. Hulk, however, ends up helping out with uh, the delivery by absorbing energy from the Star Brand, and we find out what happened. Apparently, um, she's from Kansas City, worked at a limestone plant that was owned by Roxxon. The plant got closed down. Her boyfriend had heard about a job opportunity somewhere far away. So, some uh, space coyotes, ex shooters flying 20 year old Skrull dropships, came along and said, hey, it pays, it's in, but it's in space. Smuggled in the Shi'ar controlled territory along with migrant workers from dozens of planets. Picking grapes. The Shi'ar busted the operation. She was detained as an illegal alien. Her trial lasted 90 seconds. She was sentenced to three years in prison, or her child sentenced to two pending birth. On the way to the prison planet, the Star Brand found her and She blasted. Her, she destroyed the prison shuttle, and there's other planets. And while Cap's able to 
A woman gives birth to a daughter, and Cap's able to save her, but... The mother dies. And Gladiator even backs down. The three heralds then each bestow a gift upon the child. Terax, the gift of life by not killing the child right there and now. Um, Fire Lord, the gift of time. Time for her to grow and prove herself. And just know that, she, that Fire Lord will be watching. And Silver Surfer gives his hope. And so now the question becomes, why when she cries? And the baby has a star brand on her hand. That's you know, this adorable shot right here. And that is where the issue ends. Next up we've got Captain America number 18. Where we left off, they realized that the Scourge was, uh, Cap and, and the Daughters of Liberty had found, figured out it was the Scourge that was responsible for, the, for killing the crooked cops. And seemingly, Mayor Fisk was, destroyed, was killed in a car bomb. So we start off with a text conversation between uh, Sharon Carter and uh, Dryad, her, her Aunt Peggy. Apparently there are riots brewing, but Dryad has her own target. So the plan to stop one of, the, one of the riots is at a halfway home, which is for uh, ex-cons. The idea being, it's they stay there while they get back on their feet after being released. So the plan becomes, Mockingbird and Missy Knight get into the halfway house, clear everyone out. Visible Woman lays down some cover and gives both the cops and the crowd a chance to cool off. Cap appeals to their sense of reason while Spider Woman uses her pheromones to calm people, to hopefully calm everyone down. And it works, and, and Cap actually gives a hell of a speech. And he manages to turn everyone's opinion. And then one of the cops explains that there's a place upstate, but they're going after hold up the guy up, hold up in a cabin. They're throwing their best at him, but well, they ain't what they used to be. So Cap goes to the to the cabin. Scourges has fortified the place with uh, machine gun turrets. He manages to find Scourge, who then runs out into the path of one of his own sentry guns. Actually, three, it looks like three of them. However, it was later revealed, in the aftermath of uh, the Scourge's death, that Mayor Fisk is alive and well. And he, uh, In the interest of the safety of all New York citizens, of all New Yorkers, certain deceptions were necessary. Some of the Daughters of Liberty discuss how, just how it is he faked his death, but the conclusion being that since S.H.I.E.L.D. disbanded, there's so much tech out in the black market, it's not even funny. However, 
the widow of uh, the partner of, I think it was the partner of uh, Cap, Cap's old friend of the police force, or the widow of the partner of the old friend. Was visited by John Walker. Who gives her the Scourge's mask. And pretty much makes it clear that the two of them are going to end up become but looks for most of it, the two of them will be waging their own uh, campaign as the Scourge. Meanwhile, Cap has appropriated Sharon's phone and uh, has set up a, a meeting with this mysterious, uh, the mysterious dryad. That's where the issue ends. Wow. Moving on to Thor number two. Where we left off with Thor, the new god king of new uh, god king of Asgard is finding it Molnir harder to lift. And it's especially evident when Galactus comes crashing in, crashing in, seeking the, the god of wounded and seeking the god of thunder. But that explains to him he, he's not asking for. For assistance or asylum, no, he's come for the god for the god king himself. As the Black Winter, the star plague that destroyed Galactus's original universe, is now coming to destroy this one, and the and Galactus faced it, and it said that it takes on the form of what, that which will kill you, that which will destroy you. And the form that Black Winter took was that of Thor. And so, the idea, the plan is to, there are a handful of planets that are exceedingly rich in, in uh, the energies that Galactus requires. So, They'll go to them, supercharge Galactus up, and he'll take on the Black Winter. However, he's created, he has, he has found himself a new herald for this. Thor himself. It begins with a uh, description of what happens when the Black Winter comes, and it's... Yeah, it's the end of all things. And so, Thor is brought... Galactus is the planet Clips. And upon discovering the planet is inhabited, Thor tries to stop, or tries to prevent Galactus from, devour, from consuming the planet. What he manages to do, how at least, he does at least manage to delay him long enough. And Sif opens up a, a Sif. Now the guard of the Bifrost opens up a, a bridge, basically so they can evacuate all of the uh, inhabitants of Clips. And then Galactus not only consumes the uh, power of the planet but destroys it in the process, supercharging himself. However, someone has come along looking, looking for Galactus. That's someone being Beta Ray Bill and a rather large battleship. A rather large battleship, which is powerful enough to at least uh, 
make a supercharged Galactus think twice about fit, go facing it head on. That's where the issue ends. Next up, we've got Hawkeye Freefall number two. Where we left off, um, Hawkeye is going after has been is trying to go take down the Hood. At the same time, there's a new Ronin on the scene. Quite some rather lethal methods, and uh, shall we say blurry, blurry vision when it comes to targeting. Which has led more than a few people to think that it's... And as Clint is one of the more well-known wearers of the Ronin suit, Winter Soldier and Falcon figure it must be him. And then they go after a job, then Ronan attacks it, and they realize, oh, it's not Hawkeye. Also, Ronan kicks all kicks the asses of all three of them. So we begin in the West Village in a pain, in a painfully fancy fundraiser for a feast. Tony Stark shows up at schmoozes a bit with uh, Hawkeye and his girlfriend, Night Nurse. And then Aunt May comes out to uh, and Spider-Man's Aunt May brings Hawkeye brings Clint out to talk to the crowd because he apparently he is He's a rather large donor, which shocks Night Nurse and Tony to no end. Also present taking pictures for, should they be needed, is none other than May's nephew, Peter. Though he has to leave early due to a work emergency. The work emergency being on the Lower East Side, as Ronan is taking his way is uh, wading through an abandoned building. And apparently he has a voice modulator, which cracks fighting up to no end. The next day in Sunset Park, uh, a neighborhood in Brooklyn, the human bomb, who's wearing big clunky metal armor and has guns, guns for hands, is shooting, shooting the play, shooting up the bank across from the best taco spot in Brooklyn. And then uh, Luke Cage, or Hawkeye's trying to stop him. Luke Cage comes by to give him some grief about you know the Ronin killing people and. You explain it's not him. So they take down uh, Human Bomb. Well, Cage takes down Human Bomb. Meanwhile, at one of the Hood safe houses in the Meatpacking District, the Hood is asking for information on. Uh, Who's taking? Who's going after the safe houses? It's Ronan from a bit. Apparently, it's Ronan, one of the Avengers. And admittedly, Hood admits he probably should have killed the guy. The next day at uh, Mercy Hospital on the Upper East Side, Hawkeye shows up to basically, after taking some advice from the, the talk he had with Cage, you know, to explain that, you know, hey, war on drugs is great, but you gotta have some compassion behind it. You know? 
yeah, getting rid of the dealers is fine, but you need to do something, you know, you need to help the addicted as well. And so he suggested a free addiction treatment, a free addiction treatment facility to uh, the CEO of Endelux Pharmaceuticals and uh, the guy that runs the hospital. They initially laugh because of the amount of money that would be needed, which apparently Hawkeye's got a bag full of. That night, in another one of uh, the Hood State Houses, this one in uh, Sugar Hill, Manhattan, Ronan shows up. Then he goes after one of the Hood's IT guys trying to get to the safe. The IT guy swear, swears, though, that, you, that it's Hawkeye. Ronan insists that, you know, oh, I've adopted the identity. The guy says, oh, hey, look. Here's you breaking the arm of a guy named, named Theo in Aurora a few days ago. And here's footage of Hawkeye fighting cops in some gun... Fighting in Chernaya last year. This is them side by side. Same moves, same size. Same speed. And so, yeah. It's Hawkeye. Now, what does this mean? Okay, theory time. Hawkeye is using the... Uh, Hawkeye is also utilizing the Ronin persona to get funds to do, you know, good things in the, in the community. Um, however, the other Ronin is just, you know, leaving a trail of bodies. Anyways, moving on to Avengers Defenders Tarot, number two. Where we left off, the Defenders, after having stopped a necromancer who had some, who was trying to use a kind of, a form of demonic icar to, uh, control humanity, found another, uh, found the Iker one other place on the planet. Avengers Mansion. So when they arrive, they, they, know, they see that the Avengers are fighting the Vision. And so they subdue the Vision and then uh, start help with repairing the mansion. And then the Defenders are all summarily attacked. And it's revealed that Long time Fantastic Four and uh, everyone, everyone else really, villain Diablo is actually controlling everyone. All the Avengers. And now also Doctor Strange. So we open up with uh, Diablo basically explaining his plan to a to Doctor Strange and Scarlet Witch. And apparently the real problem is Thor. Thor is actually fighting him off. And so... He takes Hulk. He, so Yellow takes Hulk, takes over Hulk, takes over Valkyrie, and is able to subdue Thor, further subdue Thor. Now he's got everyone he needs. Being it all clear that the reason that the Avengers were fighting Vision is the fact that Vision can't be mind controlled because he's a machine. So Diablo sends uh, the Silver Surfer to a uh, cafe, a cafe in Marinella, uh, Punta Seca. They don't bring him a macchiato, a double macchiato. Then uh, Spider-Man and Daredevil see the surfer leave and discuss what's been going on. Meanwhile, Hulk has reverted to, to Bruce, his Bruce Banner form and is, the, is not, as Bruce Banner, is not under the control of Diablo. And so the two are forming a plan which requires him to go to the lab of Dr. Pym. 
Upon Surfer's return to New York, the FF wonders if they should get involved. And Diablo's trying to think who to go after next with the Iker. Thinking initially, well, Reed Richards, but then decides, no, no, no. First he'll take down, he'll take control, take over Reed's friends, and then have the rest of the FF take on Reed Richards. However, Diablo is displeased with uh, how long it took Surfer to get the, get back to him with the uh, coffee, and orders the Hulk to well smash Surfer's face, but Hulk isn't there. Apparently, the Hulk is trying. Or Diablo tries to force Bruce to transform. When suddenly, Kang shows up. Explaining that the Diablo's actions are responsible for the end of all that is or was. And so the Avengers and Defend the mind controlled Avengers and Defenders face off with Kang, who blinks out who eventually blinks out of his existence. And the watcher's there, and he And then he disappears. However, then uh the team is attacked by both Yellow Jacket and Ant Man. We're revealed to be none other than Bruce Banner and Vision. And they're promptly taken. Hulkman is a fight off control because he, he does not like having his mind messed with. Then, uh, this causes Diablo to lose control of everyone, and he tries to escape, and strangely he's managed to take the Iker from him and follows him into the, to a portal. However, he's forced to destroy the portal when there are, when numerous tentacles ending with eyes pop out of it. The portal is destroyed and seemingly strange with it. So I got to figure out what to do now. So now the two teams have to figure out what to do now. Also, the World War II battle that uh, the actor was present for, now there is a record of it happening. We catch up back with Strange inside a portal, and it seems the Silver Surfer's board ended up in the portal as well. However, it deposits Strange in space without a spacesuit. Which is where the issue ends. Moving on, we go back to Marvel's Wasteland Future in Avengers of the Wastelands, number one. So Avengers of the Wastelands uh, supposed to pick up at, after the events of Old Man Quill and Dead Man Logan. Um, if you'll recall, near the end of Dead Man Logan, Danny Cage picked up uh, Mjolnir and helped, and helped save the day. And uh, her and Bruce Jr. have been bebopping along and they buried Logan and moved on. So we begin in Angel Lake, Nevada. Ant-Man's flying, flying through and thinking back to Doom attacking the remnants of Forge's compound from Dead Man Logan. Then in Hammer Falls, Doom finds comes upon Ultron at Tanya's garage and kills him, ripping off his head. Meanwhile, in Arlington, California, 
Danny and Bruce are growing food for, for the people. But Bruce men notices that uh, the soil's dry and they can use some rain. So, Danny grabs Mol someone's for his Molnir and makes a storm. However, Ant Man has collapsed nearby and is insisting on talking to Danny and Bruce. He explains that they were rebuilding the compound and then Doom attacked and just killed everyone. And Dwight, Ant Man, Dwight, found numerous uh, destroyed towns along the way. However, now Doom has shown up with his army. Dwight get, puts on his anime gear while Hulk and, and Danny take on Doom's army and then uh, Ant-Man joins the fray. However, it turns out it's just a Doombot lead, leading things. However, one of Doom's soldiers is almost just a drop on Ant-Man, but is then knocked out by a familiar shield. And Captain America, who's the senator saying, telling, uh, well, Thor, Ant-Man, and Hulk, if you want to find Doom, come with him. And that's where the issue ends. So who is this Captain America? My guess is it's a uh, patriot of the Young Avengers, or the newer, more recent Patriot from uh, Champions. Moving on to our last book of the week, Captain Marvel The End. That's right, we had three The End books this week. There was supposed to be a fourth one, but I guess that one got to Captain America The End, but I guess that's been delayed. So, each begins 2051, just above the planet Nadrelia. Carol Danvers is all binaried up, explaining that uh, she protects the planet from a space beastie who's not really listening. So the beast is like, okay, whatever, flies past her. Carol gives chase and destroys the creature. The people are you know, thankful. She gets back up aboard her ship, passes by some pictures of, of Earth. Notices her pages beeping, saying Avengers Assemble. So she, as she heads back to Earth, remembers what's happened. She's on the other side of the galaxy, or on the other side of the universe, a whole other galaxy. On her way back, she got close enough, her ship picked up a degraded distress call from Abigail Brand. You know, basically, hey, you know, we need you on Earth. You know, heroes are dead. Then, as she got closer, another one came in. This one telling Carol it was too late. Uh, everything was gone. When she got there, she flew around. And, yeah, see, it looked like everything was. So now she returns. Everything's frozen. But she finds people. Jerry Drew, Emma Frost, Molly Hayes, Danielle Cage, Rogan Gambit's daughter, Rogue, or Irene, Fuse. Hazmat, various others. And 
that uh, they've they're rebuilding society. And one of the, one of the sketches was they they managed to build. They've got a biome going, but they most of them can't go outside for more than an hour or so. There's also a big radioactive sea monster that's kind of a problem. So, Kara comes up with a plan, utilizing Fuse and Rogue. Fuse, she has basically has Fuse and Rogue, well, Irene, copy her energy form. They but they. Armor holds open the uh, mouth of the creature, and so the three, Irene, Carol, and Fuse, fly into the creature's mouth and then blow it up. But. There's, they still can't retake the surface because the sun is not as it's too cold. At least for normal people. But it has been tries to stop Carol from doing what Carol feels she has to do and So Carol flies up to the dying sun and uses all of her power to reignite it. And that's where the issue ends. Carol sacrificing herself to save the world. And that's it for this week's roundup. As always, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Links to my Facebook, Twitter, Patreon, and PayPal will be found in the description box down below. This is Rockwell Spock signing off saying... Live long and rock hard.